Seven methods to ranking a website in Google, video seven. Hello again, Zach Johnson here, host of the affiliate marketing video series. And of course, we also have our sponsor, adcombo.com. If you haven't joined an affiliate network yet, definitely check out adcombo.com and see what offers they have available today. Now we've talked a lot about affiliate marketing, how to choose an offer, how to even create a website and all the different traffic sources as well. Now we're going to be talking about how to create an affiliate niche site and rank it in the search results. So we went through the basics in the last video of how to create an affiliate niche site, but now we want to focus how to actually get it to rank in the search results. What we're going to be covering is why and how websites actually rank in Google, the benefits of ranking within Google and relying on it for organic SEO traffic, and also the seven working methods to get your site to rank higher today. So first we should ask the question, why should you want to rank in Google in the first place? Well, besides the obvious of getting a ton of free traffic, there's many other benefits as well. But first we can start with the free traffic. There's two ways to rank at the top of Google. The first is to be an advertiser and simply pay for that traffic. And the second is to create an authority website that provides value and Google ranks it as a top recommended resource. So that brings us to number two, how to be a trusted recommended resource. Well, if you have great content, you have a lot of backlinks coming to your website and you provide value to your audience, Google is going to rank you higher in the search results. And at the same time, that brings us to number three, allowing you to build a powerful platform to share your message and grow your earnings. If you were able to create an affiliate website that ranks high in the search results, you can definitely scale it out different sizes, different markets, and repeat the process time and time again. Once you've successfully ranked one website, there's no reason why you can't do this over and over. So now that we've covered why you might wanna rank in the search results, let me talk about how you can actually rank in the search results. It's easy to create a website and create content, but if you're not gonna rank, what's the purpose? So most websites will never actually rank number one in Google for a generic keyword or term. Instead, they might be able to rank for something long tail or more specific let's say weight loss, you're never gonna rank number one in Google for that, but you might be able to rank on the first page of Google for best weight loss drinks, chocolate recipes, something like that. And people are actually gonna search for that. If you can provide value to it, you can actually get them to your site and then they'll complete your affiliate offer and you can make money through your different monetization methods. Now all this comes back to three different points. The first is to always create high quality content. Lots of websites are out there creating content, but only the best ones are going to rank in Google. Keep an eye on the competition, see what they're ranking for, see what type of content you're creating, and then try to create better content than that. The second thing is to create high quality backlinks and make sure they're coming back to your website. Basically, when another website links to your website, that's telling Google that they recommend your content. You wanna get high quality links from other websites that are related to what you're already doing. For example, if you have a weight loss website, you're gonna to wanna to get other weight loss or health and beauty websites to link back to you because they're all kind of related to each other. The third thing is to have a working SEO and content promotion plan. In the last video, we talked about creating content for your website, but now you need to focus on how to promote it. If you have five articles live on your site, you don't need to go nuts with trying to create new content all the time. Instead, you need to spend more effort on actually promoting that content. And that's what we're gonna be covering more in this video. So now let's run through our list of seven things that you need to do to rank higher in Google. The first one, it's all about the quality of content that you're gonna create. As I said, there's over a billion active websites on the internet today, they're all creating content. And if you wanna be able to rank above these sites, you need to create better content. Go with articles that are at least 1200 words long, pick a niche topic that's extremely focused on something specific, and always analyze other websites that are ranking in the search results. You need to be doing better than the competition. The second thing is to build your backlinks through guest blogging. And this is great for anybody working with a very small or limited budget. The concept of guest blogging is simple. You reach out to other websites that are looking for content, you provide them content of value, and then they link back to your website as that resource. And it takes time and a lot of effort, but again, it's a working method that's not gonna spend a lot of money in the process. So if you're just getting started with affiliate marketing, you can build an affiliate niche website use this method and start seeing your content rank in the search results. The third method is to create unique and shareable content, such as infographics. Anybody can create an infographic, and what's really great about them is that people love to share them. In short, an infographic is a great way to turn boring content into visual data that's easy to share. 
as you can see right there in this screenshot, you can take anything from any industry, compile it into some data type, and create an infographic through a free website like Canva, or simply outsource the process. Once you create this, you can place it on your website alongside with an original article, and then reach out to different resources and say, hey, we just created this great infographic, would you like to share it with your audience, or even post it on your website? If you create something of great value, you might actually be surprised with how many people pick it up. And the ultimate goal from all of this is to make it easy for people to share content on your website. Go live with an infographic, add some social sharing buttons on your site, and start to see your content go viral. Another method is the expert roundup. And this one works extremely well if you're willing to put in the time and effort. The concept goes like this. Ask one simple question to a bunch of experts within your industry, compile their answers together, and then go live with an expert roundup on your website. It takes some time, it takes some research too, but it's definitely one of the best ways to increase traffic, backlinks, social shares, and authority to your site. If you need an example of this, here's a quick one. Interview as many people as you can find that have a health and beauty website and say, what's your number one tip for waking up and feeling refreshed in the morning? It's a simple question. You're gonna get answers from all of them. Once that content is all live on your website, reach out to everyone that you featured and interviewed, and then they will share that content and grow traffic, backlinks, and social shares to your website. Next, you wanna be able to create as many social profiles as you can. Now, you might not be using anything outside of Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn, but you should still have a website associated with each of those accounts because Google loves to rank content from these websites like Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and when you create a profile, you're getting link juice sent from these networks back to your website, which ultimately helps your site rank higher in the search results. It will also help you build a following as well, and it gives you instant access to billions of users around the world. So even if you're not using social media actively from a promotion standpoint, be sure to create not only a personal account, but also a website or business account on each profile available. Another great option is to create a viral sweepstakes or contest. And this is actually easier to set up than you might think. There's lots of third-party solutions out there that you can use, or you can actually set this up on any WordPress blog where someone can just share the post or leave a comment to enter the contest. Now, when doing this, you're increasing engagement on your website, you might get some promotion and backlinks from other websites that share sweepstakes, and you're also getting an audience to engage with whatever it is you have to offer. With that being said, make sure you're giving away a prize that's relevant to whatever your website is pretty much giving away. If you have a website that's giving away health and beauty tips, try and find something that's health and beauty related as a prize as well. And last but not least, you need to keep an eye on the competition. The sites that are ranking at the top of Google are ranking there because they're the best at what they do. So go to Google, type in some keywords that you would personally like to rank for, and then see what type of content they're creating, see if they're doing any type of marketing that you're not currently doing yet, and also use online tracking tools and SEO tools to see what other keywords they're ranking for, where they're getting their backlinks from, and how you can replicate that process and do the same. The great thing about SEO is that the more you work on it, the better results you're gonna see. So how do we actually get started with the process of ranking your site in the search results? Well, as we mentioned, we went through the content creation process, how to find an affiliate offer that would be right for a website, and then we covered a bunch of different ways for you to actually get traction on your website, backlinks, and social shares. But now we can put this four-step process into place so you can start seeing movement in the search results. The first is to make sure that your site is niche-focused as much as possible. Do not go generic. If you're going health and beauty, make sure it's extremely niche where it could be a facial cream for teenage girls to get rid of acne or whatever. That's very niche and that's something that you would want to stick with. The next is to go live with five 1200 word articles. You want these articles to be very focused on that niche market as well, while also providing value and focused on the audience that's probably looking for helpful tips so that when they do end up on your website, they're ready to take action on anything that you might be recommending to them. Also get started with the outreach and guest blogging process. Once your website is live and you have content on it, you should right away start trying to gain backlinks and new opportunities for getting traffic to come to your website. And of course, as I've mentioned time and time again, you need to focus on the competition, see who's ranking where and how you can follow those same steps to outrank the competition. Over time, your site will keep growing in size and it's not gonna rank right away, but as you continually work on these efforts, you're gonna see you rank higher time and time again. So we've covered a lot of information here. 
how to create a website, how to create the best niche content, and how to rank in the search results. Now it's time to create a whole new concept for this, and that would be ranking in Google as a paid advertiser, mainly through Google AdWords. And that's what we're gonna be covering in the next video. I'm gonna show you what Google AdWords is, how to build your first campaign, how to target the right audience, and also how to set up tracking in the process. As always, I'm covering a lot of information in these videos, but there's always gonna be more out there for you to learn as well. So stay in touch with myself at zachjohnson.com or contact the team at adcombo.com to learn even more about how to effectively promote affiliate offers. See you guys in the next video.